Challenging. Awesome. Just awesome. Life changing. Transforming. Intense. Foundational. Amazing. Charismatic. Interesting. I'd like to change the world. Pull down some heaven onto earth. It says at the end of Luke 2 of Jesus that he grew in wisdom and in stature and in favour with God and man, which is an incredible statement when you stop and think about it, that Jesus needed to grow. So, in the big year we want to see people grow in their wisdom and understanding, we want to see them growing in their heart, their emotional capabilities and maturity, and we want to see them see the supernatural favour of God on the things they do. Teaching wise, I've gotten so much out of it. I kind of came into it thinking that I knew pretty much all there was to know and then had all my theology knocked down and built up again. One of the key things of the big year is that we partner with different ministries to really add weight to what we offer to our students. Over the last three years we've had speakers such as Steve Clifford, Gerald Coates, Roger and Faith Forster. One of the key ones is Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry where we listen to teaching particularly from Bill Johnson and Chris Ballerton. But when we display the kindness of the Lord, those who are in the Teaching is something that I never thought that God has called me to before, but um, having that kind of recognising in me and to have the opportunity to grow in that was a real blessing. So now that's something that I really want to grow in and, and, and do more of in the future. It sets the students' hearts for the day to begin with worship, to pursue that relationship with God and intimacy with God. We set great store by that. Our affections towards you, and we just press into heaven towards you. A time when the students can come and have a meal together, and we call it an audience with because we have various interesting people. I went home and said to Randy, well if they won't do it, you know, we've offered it to them, why don't we have a go? The students are then able to ask them questions and find out about their lives and their motivation. There's a new way coming. Mentoring on the big year is a really key part of the course because we really believe in intentionally helping people to mature into who they were created to be in Christ. Yeah, you get a free lunch with your mentor and it's really cool because you can talk to them about just staying just staying and not just your spiritual life. Each student meets with the mentors individually to discuss all kinds of things and to discuss ways to grow, to challenge them, just to really help them on their journey of transformation. I really did appreciate, you know, being in a peer group, being able to share, you know, the things that was going on with me and, uh, and learn from others and also help others as well. So it's great. I recommend it. The highlight? Well, the highlight of the whole course was our mission trip I think, to Albania. And that was an amazing time. We started off uh, the first day, we were invited to go to a prison for murderers and uh, lots of security and uh, make sure we don't take anything in. And then we started to minister, drawing on all the things we'd learned in the course to date. I loved hearing the stories from the Albanian mission trip, now with paralysed arm, being healed. Just realising the confidence that people had, uh, had acquired in the first term to step out in things that they would never have imagined. And it was great hearing the story back from that. At the end they said, right, if anybody wants to become Christian, then uh, please signify and uh, we will pray for you and then you'll be followed up subsequently. And a lot of people came forward. And so we were really built up as a result of that. And it was a tremendous honour and a tremendous pleasure.
I think revival is an interesting subject and very relevant to the students. We go to Wesley's House and Museum in London. We take them to Wales for the day where we look at the roots of the Welsh revival. The mission trip and being able to pray and prophesy over people and all that was very encouraging and it meant that I'm a much more uh, grounded person in just um, God's love for me. My dream for each student that comes on to the big year is that they leave the big year with a clearer vision of who they were made to be and knowing that they're further down the journey towards being there. I believe in destiny, but destiny is not the things that people do, destiny is the person they were made to be. So what would I say to people who are thinking at all about joining the big year? Don't just believe me, talk to any of the other big years, I think they will be able to convince you that uh, it's well, well worth doing. What would you say to church leaders who are looking for a place to grow their leaders but they still want their leaders to remain with them in their church? Well, we've deliberately tried to structure the big year to, to make that possible, so you don't have to be part of River Church um, to access it. There is this sense of alumni. You see people who you studied with for a year and you feel great um, love and, and care and compassion for them. We partner with Heart Styles, which is a ministry run by Stephen and Myra Clemick. We also partner with Kairos, which is a cross-cultural course for a week that uses many methods of teaching to help students understand the issues of cross-cultural mission and the importance of it from scripture. Yeah, Father God, I just pray against all the, uh, the wars and the conflicts, Lord. And I just pray that peace will come into those situations, mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. And what would you say to somebody who's wondering if the big year is the right thing for them? I think they need to talk to someone that's been on the big year and find out as much as they can. To talk to members of the team, to talk to me, to look on the web and just see all the different things that it involves. <laughs>